Hi everybody, it's weekend time. Everybody's schedule is so bizarre on this Friday. I don't know if the weekend really has any different meaning for you than the weekdays, but I um, was surprised on this Friday that that steady batch of rain that came in this morning I was kind of expecting today to be more just scattered light showers passing and for us to average well under a tenth of an inch of rain, but now confidence is uh, getting shaky on just how much rain we will get. But anyway, today on this Friday, tomorrow on a Saturday, Cloudy skies, at least occasional shots of rain, mostly just light to gentle rain rates, not looking for any storminess, not looking for any gusty winds, lows in the 40s, highs uh, around 50 to 53. And then our next front comes in Saturday night. So I would expect at least at some point a band of some heavier rain to come in Saturday evening through Sunday morning as that frontal band comes in. And then Sunday, actually a little bit warmer, 56 in the afternoon. Um... And that's the best bet to have anything, I think, over a quarter of an inch of rain for a 24-hour period. And then there's another front on Monday. Now, this one all of a sudden is not looking as strong as it once did, but still it looks like it could produce. South winds gusting 30 to maybe 40 miles per hour. Um, I'll keep updating the weekend forecast, but maybe that wind field starts to fall apart. At one point, it looked like it could be stronger than that. And still some pretty good rain, maybe some steady rain Monday morning as that front comes in. Behind that... Tuesday's back to a chillier weather pattern with sun breaks, scattered showers, snow levels 2,000 feet or lower, especially in the morning, probably some hail showers because of the low freezing level. And then here's the catch. And again, look for this to be updated over the weekend one way or another. But, you know, the forecast models, one of them has basically been showing, hey, we dry out the mid part of next week and we get into warmer temperatures, maybe some 70s going into the weekend. Um, and then the American GFS model has been saying, no, we could stay in this chilly, showery pattern all the way through the first week of April, potentially. Well, now that chilly American model, as of the last run, and again, this could change, but as of the last run at the time of taping this at 1030 on Friday morning, it's starting to show that we dry out the mid part of next week and start to warm up. Now, there could still be some rain showers developing after that, maybe that following Friday. Um but overall, much warmer weather. And in fact, maybe dry in some 70 degree temperatures either Sunday, April 5th, I think that would be, or Monday the 6th. So that's an update on what we're watching right now. Snow levels this weekend, three to 4,000 feet. Uh, Cascade passes mainly have a chance of being snow covered overnight, early morning. Otherwise, I don't really expect there to be much of a difficulty there. I'll talk to you soon.